Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and today we are going to be talking about the Elvis Operator. So sit back and let the knowledge flow in because SE Geek begins now. Okay, this time we're going to be talking about the Elvis operator, or you know, the question mark or the null safe operator, um, and I'll be showing various examples of this. So, one thing that you're probably familiar with is, say, something like you know, uh, this, which is a ternary operator, which would get you, you know, basically an inline if statement. So, if we run this. Um, since you know null is false, this should come back with um, zero. So let's run that. Just make sure. All right. Yeah, came back zero. So if we change this to true and rerun that, come back. It comes back with one. Um, another thing that's uh, you know also very useful. We're just going to set this to list right now, and we'll change this one little shorthand uh, here is. Say we want something like this, one comma two. We can like sh do a shorthand, which this would this is actually equivalent to. Um, I'll make another copy of this just so you can see it. If you wanted to do this, so basically it's just a little shorthand. If you want to say if this is true give this back else this you can instead say you know if this is true it'll return itself back else this so now if I run that you see in both instances I get the one two three and not the one two um, but if I put false here and run that I'll get the one two in both instances so that's a, a way just to you know get it you know shorten this up a little bit uh, make it a little less verbose, you know, a little less uh, keystrokes. So another thing that you can do with uh, the question mark operator is uh, something called null safe. So what we'll do is we'll do uh, string uh, s equals null, and you know I'm doing you know kind of strong typing for this example just so you can you know see what I'm doing. Um, now traditionally, if you do s dot length if I can spell right that's going to give you a null pointer exception so we're going to run that and as you can see down here we got a null pointer exception but if we just throw a question mark in front of that and actually this time we, we can print line it and run it instead we'll get back null uh, which can be you know Useful if you don't want to set set up like you know if thens or ternaries. You just want to say, you know, whatever this uh, brings back. If it, you know something's not you know set up right, just give me null instead. It can be useful, but you know don't you don't overuse it. There is a little bit of a performance hit for this, but you know it's something to keep in mind. Another tool for you to use. Now, if you're doing uh, chained like uh, oh. Uh, methods like this something like that you should actually use uh, the null safe operator all the way down the line it's you know usually generally a good uh, rule of thumb to do that because otherwise you know you might get a null pointer somewhere within there but that's just a, a rule of thumb so that's pretty much it for the Elvis operator and the null safe op operator so uh, I'll talk to you next time